what she knew and what she represented, and even more, I think, by the whole world that she'd come from. The Russian school of piano playing was a, a romantic type of playing instituted by Anton Rubinstein, the great pianist, the contemporary of Liszt. Romantic, of course, means personally expressive, which meant that you could take a piece of music and interpret it according to your feeling. Rosina Levine was a perfect product of this generation. I started to um, play the piano when I was six years old. Well, I studied with a teacher who became ill, and my mother asked the director what uh, they ought to do with me, and he suggested that the star pupil of the conservatory, Joseph Levine, would give me lessons. And that's how we met. When I think of Mrs. Levine, I think of her life as a beautiful love story. When she first met Mr. Levine, she was quite young, as you know, and she told me once that the very first moment she met him, she knew in her heart that was her destiny. And so they made arrangements, and he came twice a week to give me a lesson. And he says, show me your hand. You love music? I said, yes. And he says, would you like me to play something for you? And I said, oh, yes, very much. So he played the Barker of Chopin, and now, for all my life, the Barcaro is what I like so much. It was remarkable because he had the gold medal when he graduated from Moscow Conservatory, and she also had the gold medal. And they were a team in every way, constantly giving to each other, supporting each other, loving each other. Joseph Levine told me very much about his wife, he told. 